Go kart part one. <laughs> oh. huh. Go kart. Cool. Check it out. Neat. Hydraulic brakes. Briggs is strutting on there. Oh, missing the clutch. That's fine. He's a five horser. Cool. Oh, the brakes. Snicks. Pretty good. What's that say? It's a GK. The other week. Doop doo dee lee lee. A little bit of the before. And the go-kart project. This is a uh, found it up to Arva. Been living in a barn for ten years. This day is it's all there. Hydraulic brakes. Oh, yeah, you got the seat cover's all here. It's kind of scuzzy. But we can get a new one made up like off this pattern. Ooh, chrome motor mount. Ooh. Five axle. Good stuff. Nice disc brakes. Just got to be all redone. Tore apart and fixed up. Should be uh, big time fun, I would think. Well, I was, originally wasn't going to make any videos today because I personally find them boring. But I got the master cylinder off the go-kart and the plunger is seized up. And I'm just about to take it apart and I'm just making the video here. More or less just so I know how to put it back together. So, let's get on with it. Huh. Cool. We got fluid in it. Put that in a jug. Okay, and we're back. Gonna get the screw out of here. Bear with me here. I've never taken one of these parts, so we don't know what to, we're gonna encounter. I think this is just like a little locking screw to hold this plunger mechanism in. Maybe. No, oh, it appears to do nothing. Monster. I don't know. 
I'm almost thinking it's like a disposable unit now. When it stops working. Get that up. Should take that up. One more reason to make the switch to Lakeport. Lakeport. Great. Yeah, welcome back. Well, ended up getting this part. The ball part got this to slide in now, nice. And went on the internet, did a little research, found out that you can get, you can buy, this, this stuff's been around since the 60s. I didn't realize how popular it was. Used in drag racing, everything. So, uh, yeah, they're totally rebuildable. You can buy the rebuild kit. I think it's $18 for the seal for this. The plunger seal, new springs, new gasket. So I took it upon myself to clean this up. Caliper, got the caliper apart, run some air through it. And actually, the plunger still works. It didn't seem to leak. So we're going to order up some new pads. Some new pads on it, put that back together. That'll be that. Got the axle out. i got to get that apart. It's all rusted together, so. We'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. We got the axle out of the cart. And some of the stuff freed up. Got that freed up. This is all free, but I gotta that sleeve free. But I gotta get the bearing free. So I can slide everything over and get in there and kind of cut a make a slide hammer, get those wheels off. The sand they get figured up the sprocket deal. Quick chain sprocket thing. And I got uh, these, I got that bearing net to move, this is loose, the bearings, I got to get some memory cloth and get out that axle, get these bearings sliding on there so I can get this thing apart, and that was that story.